Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to our first playthrough of Stories Untold. Watch me lose my Stories Untold virginity. I'm going to guess. Oh, photosensitive epilepsy warning, so be careful, by the way. Um, I'm going to guess. Nava, you weren't here. You were literally going to be first. You were, If you were here, like, five minutes ago, you would have got it. <laughs> oh. Oh no, that's that's unfortunate. That is un. If you're here in two hours' time, you will definitely be here. You were literally next. You were next. That's so sad. Izzy, how are you? This game. Yeah, let's go, dude. I'm excited. I should have done the options first, but it's fine. Oh, it's Devolver Digital. Nice. Can we update the game, please? By the way. Can we update the game, please, guys? Is this just loud for me, or is this loud for you as well? Or in one hour, you might randomly be picked. You got work tomorrow? Okay, I, I need to pause this for a second. That's hella loud. Maybe I should restart. I'm gonna... Re Ooh, wait. Subtitles? Yes. Let's quit to main menu, because that's hella loud for me. Soz, soz, soz. We'll pretend um, that we started now. Wait, you can't turn it down? Okay, it's one of those games. Okay, I see. You be playing, huh? You be playing. Okay, I'm gonna turn you down from here. There we go. I think I played this game. Yeah, so in an hour, you'll you'll there's a possibility that you'll randomly be picked by the bot, and there's a, a larger chance, or you can wait two hours where you'll definitely be picked, depending on a couple of things. To be fair, uh, it depends if anyone else who's ahead of you in the queue decides to come when when you're meant to be chosen. But I think I can guarantee I will guarantee your slot. How about that? I'll, I'll, I'll make it go your way a bit. Okay. Let's go. It's the same volume for you guys, but it's a different volume for me, I think. John McKellen. People say this game is scary, so... We'll see. Carrot wants more bits, lol. You're not gonna want to play my game? What's your game? Also, Blades, to get your game played. A house abandoned. This reminds me of, um, Bandersnatch. Interactive horror adventure. Oh, crap. Oh, we're playing. Um, it's loud. Is it loud? I can turn it down for you guys. This is one of, oh, this is your game. What game did you want me to play? Move webcam? Yeah, I will do that. Uh, also, if you type exclamation point SS, you'll be able to join the game. Okay, sure. But you, bro, bring your phone. You do it with sound, but then again, you don't live with sound, which is a fair point. But you do it with sound. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you I'm can't just hear it. Sounds happy. <laughs> yeah, just gonna push your door open. <laughs> Dead cells. Okay, good. You did already enter. Oh god, it's mirrored. That's too weird. No, it's not. Get used to seeing me from both sides. <laughs> um, hey, welcome back, DJ Alex. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. What's the premise? I have no clue. Wait, is this the start? Oh, you can type. Hi. I'm sorry, I don't understand. 
Wait. Wait. Is this the start? Yeah, this is the start oh, of the okay. game. Um. You know your Linux commands. Come on now. <laughs> DIR. LS. <laughs> <laughs> Type what you want. It's a text adventure. Help. Yeah, help. Exclamation point. Help. <laughs> Kill yourself. My name is Kurt. I almost put Kyle. Okay, type help. I did type help. And nothing... It's like, no, I'm sorry. I don't understand. How about I'm sorry. I don't understand. <laughs> Fine. Dude, what the frick? It's good to be back. Or look, type look. It's dark. How about drive away? Like a sensible person? Um, by no code. You pull up to the driveway of a family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box. Oh, glove box. Nope. I just typed glove box by itself. Oh, look, glove box. Okay, that worked. The glove, blo uh, glove box is closed, but appears to be unlocked. Open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. Okay. Go in. going all right i found myself on a winning streak here what do you mean what happened mm, food smells good uh go in home home not gome uh family holiday home and park the car it's dark Get out the car, okay. Get out car. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> okay, the house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Go up yard. You take a walk around the yard, okay? The yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Um, enter house. Okay, you walk back around the front of the house. Okay. Enter house. Whoops, I can't spell. The door appears to be locked. You'll need to use a key. Use key. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Open door. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Turn on lights. A click and nothing. There's no power. The note should say how to restore it. Read note. You can't read the note in here as it's too dark. Leave house then. Step outside the front door. Okay. Can we read it out here? Read note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around the back to get power and lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Okay. At the moment, I found myself on a winning streak. Winning race after race. Oh, wait. What races? Oh, Mario Kart 8. No way. That's awesome. So are Twitter and Twitch the only things working? Wait, what are you talking about, Sebi? 
You saw the silhouette? Drive car into wall. No. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. Be careful. It's true. It does have to be specific, you know. Um. Okay, let's go around the back, right? Go up yard. Take a walk around. Turn on generator. Good memories. Turn on generator. I don't know what you're trying to use. Okay, read the note again. That is from your dad and reads, Hi son, I hope you enjoy your break. We need to fire up the generator. Is it fire up generator? Okay. Fire up generator. Let's try that. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Go around back. No, frick. <laughs> God, this game. Go back. Where would you like to go? <laughs> Explore yard, maybe? We did. We went up the yard. Because it said go around there. Okay, let's go back up the yard. Um... That's fine. Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back and get power on lights. Oh, does... It okay, maybe when he says around back, it's in the house. Look around. You see a generator. Wow, really? You see a generator on the back wall of the house okay go to back wall you walk back around to the frick are you kidding me back wall of the house <laughs> the trees stretched up to the night sky there's a house in the yard can you just type go yard Okay, you can type go yard. How about go generator or turn on generator? Turn on generator. You switch the generator on. Cool. Okay, and the house is still dark. Go house. Cool. Ooh, nice. Nice! Hell yeah, Alex. That's what we're talking about. That's the sort of Mario Kart plays we need in our life. Okay, let's turn on the light. You flick the switch and the lights come on. Pog champ. The hallway is now brightly lit. There's access to the kitchen and living room here as well as a set of stairs going up. Uh, let's go kitchen first, because why not? I'm trying to make you a surprise in Fortnite, but there's not enough space. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, the kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. Go to utility room. I know we need to go to the attic, so I'm going to explore a bit first. Door's locked. You have no idea where the t key could be. Okay. Go back. Cool. Go up the stairs. Or should we go to the living room first? It's a surprise. Fairs. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family, warm and inviting. That's cute. Look around, please. There's nothing of interest here. Okay, go back. Looking through your IG. Love your content, dude. Oh, thank you, Johnny. I appreciate it, man. 
I need to put more stuff out. Like the latest video I put out, I definitely, um, um, I definitely want to put out more content like that. Go upstairs. Walk upstairs to the landing. Cool. Then we need to go to the attic. The stairwell landing. There's a bathroom. And two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. I feel like we're sitting in this very house that we're going through. More content, more smiles. Yas. Hey, what's up, wizard? How are you? Um, who the F is like, you know what I want to do? Go stay in a big house in the middle of the woods by my house. Yeah, true. Um, there's a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Look around. Where's the attic? Standard landing. There are picture frames covering the wall. Okay, go my room. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. And it's been well preserved, so... On the desk is a gift-wrapped box. Open gift. You unwrap the gift, excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A Futuro 8128K plus 2. It's been well preserved in the attic and hopefully still works well. Your old bedroom, so many good memories here and it's been preserved so well. Can you... Oh, on your desk is a Futuro 128K computer and a copy of the house abandoned it's all still set up though all still to be set up though well it's set up set up set up game <laughs> set up computer you start to plug in various cables and leads the computer is all set up and ready to go there's a game here too play game you put the cassette in the computer and press play. Pog! Oh. Whoa! Monka! Well then! Oh, okay. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark and it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box. Okay. You can't stand to be near this place. Okay. You force a warp car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There's a yard to the side, wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Go up yard. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch a note, needing to look around. Yeah, let's read the note again. The night now reads gibberish. The grass is overgrown and weeds. Okay. Let's look around again. Generator, turn on gen gen generator. There's not much fuel, but the gen generator starts up. Okay, that's low key creepy. Go house. Go house. When he Yes, I, I know. I did notice. I did check the glove box. What are you talking about? I did. Rewrite the computer game and make the make it a paradise. I wish. I wish I could. Door appears to be locked. Use key. 
open. Oh, the click of the lock hurts to hear. Yep, that, yeah, that makes sense. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell, stale air and damp. This could be not less inviting. The note burns in your hand. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Too dark to read, but it feels weird to touch. Turn on lights. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart. After years of neglect or worse. Oh crap. Upstairs the sound of an alarm. Can I stop it please? It starts blowing. Someone else is in the house. It can't be. Turn off alarm. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel the presence. Someone is in the house. I should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hand. Yeah, I noticed. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. What? And the family photos, dude. They're crossed out. I've only just noticed that. Okay, just frick. Let's check the chick kitchen. You go into the kitchen. Kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusty, rusted metal, and there's a carcass on the table. There's writing on the wall, and the utility room has a painted red X on it. Who says this is our father, though? Um, let's go to the utility room. Doors locked, can't get in. Use key? Key doesn't fit. It comes as a relief. <laughs> um, go back. Go back. Your shoes are wet. You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel the presence. Let's go to the living room again. You enter the living room. Although hardly an appropriate term, the furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Run down and empty, abandoned and for good reason. That's what happens when we... That's what happens when you look around in the living room. The game was in the house. I thought... Oh, he did leave us a gift, but damn. It's just a horror game. Anyway, let's go upstairs. I wish I could spell. They creak. Same but different. Oh my god. Sis. Oh my god. Answer phone! You hear him answer. You might. What? Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up. Jesus Christ, dude. Same but different. This is so creepy. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. Alexa, turn on horror. Sorry, I didn't find a device named hallway. F frick, dude. Alexa, turn on horror. Sorry, I didn't find a device named hover. Alexa, turn on horror. There we go. You gotta emphasize the R, dude. Um, look at pictures, actually. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scorched out on all. Yee. Go to sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. 
go to bathroom. I can't find hover. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Wow, I can't spell. A broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. I don't want to go to my room. Because this is where I am. You're my son? Cool. The door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock. Okay. What could it be? Okay. Let's read the note again. The note is now clean again. Simply reading get in slash get out. Okay, how about we leave the house then? Um, leave, leave house, I don't know what you're trying to use, really, is this an MLG moment, really, take a bathroom break, maybe, wow, wow, You left, coward, lol. Let's read the note again. That's loud. Yep, that one's meant to be loud. The text reads, this is what you wanted. Okay, let's go back into the house. Okay, um, hmm. Let's, where, where can we look for this note? There was nothing in the living room. Get in car and drive off. You can't read the note here, which is interesting. Let's go to living room. Dude, how can you get into the sister's wardrobe? And you're literally telling me what to do. <laughs> I tried to avoid that generally, but sure. Let's pretend I asked what I needed to do. <laughs> and I can't even access my sister's room right now. How are you, Urosh, anyways? Open. Open room. FBI, open up. Yeah, I can't open it anyways. I'm okay, dude. I'm alright. <laughs> Can I type FBI? <laughs> FBI, open up. I want to find like the all the secrets. Go to the bathroom. And to the bathroom, K. Okay. Can you clean the surface? Nope. The sink is a haven. Look around. Yeah, there's not much. Bring FBI to kick down the door? Yeah, exactly. No, we don't have a prom. In the UK, we generally don't have prom anyways. Dude, I have no clue what to do. Go to room. Okay, go back. 
Let's try going into our room again. Mm hmm. Go to room. Which room would you like to go to? Go to my room. Enter. Nine, 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 nine. Enter code. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. Yeah, what? What was that super loud knock for? It's like he's trying to give me a heart attack on purpose. The note is reacting. Get in the door, get in the room, get in, do it, go. Uh, you grab the lock and can now input the code. Where do you get the key from? Input, there's no key. Hmm? What do you mean there is no key? It's a key in your hand. We got it from... I mean, it's a key for the front door. We got it from the um. thing. Um. Where is there a four-digit code? You know it's in this house somewhere. Okay, let's go back to the kitchen. <laughs> oh god. Have you seen this already? No, I, but I've already worked it out, I think. Can you turn pictures? Nope. Go back. Yeah, Lumia will switch the scene because it's a scene, but you won't be charged for the command if it doesn't go off. Let's look in the living room again, I guess. God, you guys are trolling me. Hmm? Turn on hover. Oh, <laughs> shut up. Uh, the note is fixed in your mind. Okay, read the note in here. The note always changing now reads, get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Okay, thanks. Let's look around again. Run down and empty abandon and for good reason. Do you want a small hint? Go for it. The code is right in front of you. 999, nine, you think? I mean, it's a four digit code. I mean, I did notice that and I tried. Didn't I try entering 999? Nine, nine, nine? I, I didn't I, see you do it unless I you did. did it in the time that I walked downstairs. But... No, I did it like in front of you. Mm. Don't, don't listen remember. to the boy, yeah, because I, I mean, did try 999. Nine, nine. It does seem like that would be too easy. But, yeah. Um, and you said it's somewhere maybe in the you house. You go downstairs into the, the utility room because it said you couldn't go in there, not now. Or something. But to see if you needed a key. Yeah. Well, then maybe oh, no, go back. there's a, also a corpse in, on the table. So maybe yeah, you true. Corpse. Maybe you have to examine the corpse. Maybe you've got to, you know. The noise has stopped. Oh, okay. Go to kitchen and it changes wherever you are, so we might need to read the note again. Uh, yeah, I don't think I looked around in here. There's oh. writing on the wall. Duh. It's probably there. There seems to be writing on the wall and what looks like blood. Nice you. Read writing. Read writing, yeah. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. 1986. Boom. 1986. Go upstairs. Yeah, he, he legit was, wasn't he? <laughs> Literally. Unfortunately, yeah, Sebi. <laughs> 
go to room, my room. What do I need to type again? Examine lock. Open lock. What do you want? Thank you. <laughs> Nineteen eighty-six. The lock clicks open. Same but different. Then open the freaking door. My God, dude. Use the lock. Oh my God. Go to my room. The door is closed. Then open the freaking door. <laughs> yeah, open the bedroom door. Monka. Say hi. I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> Bunker W. Go to computer. Oh, enter room. Enter my room. You enter your bedroom. Oh, oh. 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 It's breathing in my ear, dude. My room feels utterly familiar. Utterly familiar? The walls are damp, but you've been here before. Ooh. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of the computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Approach ah! person. Go to person. Look around. You see me sitting there, helpless. You edge closer. Get closer. Whoops, get close. Kill yourself. <laughs> Get out. I'm s <laughs> stabby stab time. <laughs> Whisper. Okay, let's go back. Bro. Bro. What am I meant to do? Can I turn around? Well, maybe I feel stabby. <laughs> um, read notes. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, mum. I'm sorry, dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but you still punish me. I can be with you now. There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Die. Look around. End now. You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. It was my fault. Oh, please stop. It was all my fault. Say it. It was all my fault. <laughs> Finally. Wait for the jump scare chat. Finally. Freaking hell, dude. Jesus. Well, that was creepy. Well, wasn't that a fun experience, chat? <laughs> Damn. I forgot that was episode one, wasn't it? I thought that was a whole game. There are three more episodes. Um, what time did we start this game again? 
Do we have time for one more episode? I took so long to do that. Because you can't really stop halfway through, can you? I presume it only gets worse, <laughs> like the scariness. Look around, go to and open commands. Are your friends? Use them often. Okay, so one more episode. A no code production. I'm pretty sure there's code in this game still. This is subject twelve nineteen eighty six twenty three new session entry. You what now? We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We have Artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from Crash Site B. At the moment it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. Okay. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. When you're ready, let's bring this back. You thought he said Mr. Asian. Okay, um, what was I gonna say? How's it going? Blicky Yame Siffy. Ow. Ow. Oh, that was a secret. <laughs> of course, that would be a secret. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Let's get help. Press the keys bracketed, duh. Press tab to roll over to the test chamber. Oh, okay. At the chamber, use your mouse cursor to select and interact. Okay. Okay, so we have an x-ray, we have a laser, acoustic resonance, drill, safety instructions. Use safety goggles and gloves at all time. Do not leave the ex the container unattended during experimentation. It is extremely dangerous to handle any items within the container. Please ensure your next of kin is updated at HR. As per your agreement, follow all instructions exactly. Well then. Equipment layout. Okay, so there's a drill, monsters, sink master. How about we put on some safety stuff first, right? Subject J1 huh, 1986 again. MEM is enclosed in solid outer layers. X ray the artifact to determine its internal structure. This reminds me of SCP. Yeah, it kind of does, right? Come cuddle with me. Oh, GK hug. I was thinking that as well with the mention of artifacts. Yeah, true. I'm always watching. That's that's not cool, bro. Um, so we gotta do the X-ray first. Okay, X-ray required apparatus. Camera monitor set to X-ray. Charge CC dash eight six. Okay, let's get the camera then. Jesus, oh god, this is so... That's a camera, right? Hmm. 
my god, dude, this is so complicated. A big ass red button. Um, let's go back here. Let's take a look at the equipment layout again. Okay, that's the test chamber. Camera's up there. TV unit. Monitor's there. The x-ray's there. Okay. I'm cool with that. So what do we need for this? We need the camera. Monitor set to x-ray. And charge that to x-ray device. Okay. This is a monitor. I think. Camera to camera. That's set to something. Where's the monitor? The monitor is below that x ray. Oh, should I have done it last? Oh, crap. I should have done it last, shouldn't I? Quick, turn it off. You have to do it in order. Camera, monitor set to x-ray. This is a monitor. But I have no clue how to set this thing. <laughs> Other camera. Okay, let's go back. Safety instructions. Do we have safety goggles and gloves on? Because I feel like we don't. Monitor set to x-ray. TV input modes. So do we have to set the TV to x-ray as well? They're the monitors. Signal Jared. I'm guessing the TV unit needs to be X ray. That's X ray, right? Okay, X ray. Yeah, that is X ray. The monitor's on, I think, so we can just go with it, I think. And now we can actually just analyze it. Awaiting x-ray data. Now what? Do I have to click the button? <laughs> Shut up. Okay, good work. The x-ray is coming through now. There's no visible damage to the surrounding organic material, but no signs of activity either. All output is flatlined. Okay, let's begin. Experiment complete, nice. Experiment two, surface reaction attempt. Demonstrate the effects of laser on the object. Try using a low powered red laser to begin with, okay. Low power. Monitor set to RGB. Set the wavelength and then set it to RGB. Where do we, okay, there's a laser. Where do we set the wavelength? Your bot in Fortnite? Hmm. Oh, do you have to type it in? I'm scared to turn it on first, honestly. Signal generator. Wait, can you tell me how to actually turn this thing on? Okay, so those are the frequencies. What's a powerful laser? How do you set it to be, like, low? Oh, red laser. Low-powered red laser to begin with. Okay, so red is... 
650 nanometer wavelength. So let's try 650. Let's set this to RGB. It's a heart? No reaction from first stage. Let's try high frequency. Okay. What frequency would that be then? Is green. Okay. Green is 510. Let's try 510. You. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. I have no clue what you guys are talking about. If you want to get me in on the conversation, just help me. Because... <laughs> I'm not even keeping up. Use the blue laser. Okay. 455. Whoa. Hey. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. There's no activity registering in the core. <laughs> Possibly damaged. Let's push further. Really? You want to? Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Begin generating a 250 hertz sine wave with the amplifier set set gain gain set to one. Okay, so we need a sine wave amplifier. Set frequency. What was the frequency again? 250 sine 1. Two fifty, please. Uh, let's make it sine as well. even see what this is set to. Oh, okay, that would be why. There we go, that's one. I should pretty much be ready to go. Hey, it's a Wales, how are you? Oh, you're talking about Netflix and chill, right. I'm glad GK knows what he's doing. I really don't. What, what else do we need? Let's see to Yeah, begin by generating a 250 sine wave with amplifier gain set to 1. That's infrared, x-ray. Let me see, um, help for a second. I oh, know, the monitor doesn't need to be set to anything. Oh, that's 2.5, right, I see. So it needs to be slightly lower. Was it too... Dude. Oh, I need to turn off the laser, I guess. And the x-ray. Wow. 
what is what why is it still on there we go ah there we go Okay, 500 hertz, 5, okay. 500 hertz. Five hundred five. Let's see what this is like. Is this heart about to explode? Seeing some fluctuations in activity should we increase to the risk of damage. What about the velocity? Oh. Mate, they're about to get us killed. Let's see acoustic revenants. Switch to the square wave. Okay. Square wave it is. We're screwed. Oh god. Oh god. Uh-huh. Whatever you say, buddy. Yo, what's up? Conisco, how are you? From Yamaica? Yamaica. Is that meant to be Jamaica or Yamaica? Like <laughs> an actual place that I don't know of, probably. Dude, that sucks, Lucy. Maintain the gain and the square wave form. Bring it up to one kilohertz? Are you crazy? Okay then, one kilohertz. Yeah, I know, why aren't they doing the experiment? You didn't know who your dad was? Holy crap. Explosion. Yep. Full activity registering. We did it. Can you hear it? I can hear you. you made excellent progress. You're doing great. Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. You're gonna drill the heart. God, this is so weird. Perfect. Okay, protect it. Proceed to drill the surface. Okay. How do I turn, move the drill? Okay, let's see how we use a drill. Turn on, ensure all other equipment is set are switched off. Okay. When ready. Okay. Let's go. Oof. You sure about that? And when you're ready, we'll continue. Are you positive? Make contact with the artifact. What? How do I open this thing? What the hell? I'm sorry to have to do this, but we have to know. Oh, my eyes! Ah, ah! I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. 
Look away from your screens, people. What the frick is going on? Ugh. Don't, especially if you have photosensitive epilepsy, do not even think about looking at your screen. Okay! I don't know if I was supposed to click. data connection ready okay well aren't these great memories Oh crap, and back to the beginning. You wake up in the cryopod, struggling against gravity, you force yourself up. Remarkable. Impact. You can navigate its memories. Use the computer. Work your way through. Okay. Impact into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship's hull. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You're in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Look around. The craft is broken beyond repair, there's wreckage all around, an airlock door is locked tight, and the computer terminal adjacent blinks. Go computer terminal. You're now stood next to the computer terminal. Look at computer, or use computer. Okay, use computer. You tap at the screen, and the airlock door splutters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of the reserves. What? Can I use the terminal? Okay. An airlock door is locked tight, and the computer terminal has now shut down. There's no longer any power to the ship. Uh, go to airlock door. This organ was taken from what we think was the leader. These memories are different and unlike the others. There's more detail here. Let's see the lean in. The camera's blocking the screen for you. Sure. It's like wherever I put my camera, it's gonna be in the way. It feels bad, man. Oh, Asian. Yeah, I see what you mean. It pretty much is Mr. Asian. Um, you squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall, fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see you're, you are surrounded by mangled metal. Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. A crash site. Smoke billows from the drowned ship. Exterior lights flicking on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. Okay. Go to... Can you go anywhere? I want to look around again, I guess. Because that's not really giving me much. I guess go back to the ship.
guys, ship. Go wreckage. Read something. Help. <laughs> I don't know what the hell to do now. Wreckage around you. Now what? Is there more you've got to show me? No. Any idea, chat? Explore crash site. No. Input party. Look at the stars. You right. You don't recognize any of the star patterns above you. Look at wreckage. Wreckage around you. Some of this metal will have to be moved in order to free yourself. Move metal. Thank you very much for the follow. Lulu wa see. Welcome, 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 welcome. To the 24 Out Club, with every ounce of your remaining strength, thank you for following. Please drop a message in chat, talk to us. Let us know how your day's going and all that stuff. No worries. Uh, have you played this game before, Lulu? With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away from... You move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. Look around. A circle of artificial lights surround you, set up to illuminate the crash site in the darkness behind them, an army of people, all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Approach. Look at silhouette. The silhouette is bipedal and bulky. Some sort of mask covers its face. It beckons you to approach. Well then, Lulu. Thank you so much for that sub. And welcome, 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 welcome. To the 24 count family. Enjoy your emotes, Lulu. Damn. Thank you so much for that sub. Been random indeed, lol. You got me well immediately. I thank you. You're nice, nice reverb. I love. Oh, I love you too. Thank you so much. Holy crap! I wasn't expecting that. Shay, how are you? Um, been random indeed. No, I've not. So I'm watching. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoy because I'm intrigued by this. It beckons you to approach. Approach. How are you, Shay? How's it going? Approach Sil Hu Wet. The heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. Wow. Wow, really? Ever make it this far? He was clearly experimented on. We awake. The room is silent only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. Okay. We are in a bed in a small and artificially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent These are our memories, dude. Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room and into our chest. They have tortured us. Read. Writing. Symbols seem to indicate where on our body they had... They had to cut. We have been butchered and maimed over and over.
crap, dude. This is... This is gonna end up with your heart blowing up, you think? Maybe. Huh. Look. At wall. Oh, look at monitor. The screen didn't give anything away. Flashing symbols and what could be numbers and rhythm. Look at wire. A series of wires leave the machine and run across to our chest, attached to different places. We aren't sure if the black fluid is going in or coming out. Collective discomfort. Pull wires. Oh! <gasps> we yank at the wires protruding from our chest. Together we all scream in pain. This action sets off an alarm echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. This is crazy, dude. Yeah, let's get out of the bed. Uh, go to door, actually. Okay, really? Go to door. Get out bed. <sighs> get up. <laughs> With wires now dangling loose. Um, look wires. Leave the machine, run across to our chest. Oh, okay. Pull out wires. Wires already hang loose. Black fluids steadily flowing out of the ends. What do you guys think? Maybe we're trapped in the bed, so let's look at the bed. A cushioned horizontal surface on each side, a metal alloy barrier, presumably to stop you from falling out. No, you can't get out of bed. Um, read writing again. We've been butchered and maimed over and over. Okay. Read monitor. Again, we did this before. The screen was blank, other than a red symbol flashing in the center, registering registering the wires being disconnected. Can we leave? Room? Stop. Specimen 20 has left lab 15. It's on the move. Oh, God. That vision. It's not a memory. It's happening right now. Mr. Asian, I need you to stop what you're doing, please. Nah, mate. We're gonna kill all of you. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Okay. Monka W. Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a familiar device. With a device on the table, it looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door but closes behind us and the lock clamps shut. We are alone, slashed together. Look around. It is some sort of preparation room. There are markings on more sheets with a door and a window on one side. The door we came through has been locked shut and the other door has an orange alarm lit above it. In the center of the room, a table... <laughs> It's for piss off. <laughs> In the center of the room, a table holding only a small device taken from your slash its slash my slash our ship. Oh, okay. Take device. Go to device. <sighs> okay, go to the door.
In the center of room, a table. Okay, go to table. Ready? Use device? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we need to do the glyphs somehow, some way. I mean, I can see it there. Okay, right, I see. So this one needs to be that one, and then that one. But I want to die! <laughs> <laughs> that was... Oh! Ah! You're, you're a beauty. You really are. Oh my god. I love it. Um. But hey, wanna die? <laughs> I'm so confused. What am I meant to be reading? Like, I can see those. Other than that, I can't really see what's going on here. Help me out, buddy. Oh, there, there, there. What order? So, this one first. Okay, I think I see. That, like that, that's fine. That one, it's... God, that's really difficult to tell what's going on. I think it's that one. Okay, next is that. Then, oh, there we go. Got him! What did we do? They're all free. They're converging. It's over. A oh, damn. Oh crap, have we just like become the leader? That was an awesome story. Oh my god, that was wicked. This Loki reminds me of like Stranger Things. And it, it also reminds me of Bandersnatch. That was so cool. That was so freaking cool, dude. Okay, we're gonna have to leave it there. We'll get the other two episodes another time. But damn, frick! What a good suggestion. Av, thank you so much. And if you were watching me lose my stories untold virginity, thank you. And I will see you in the next playthrough if you're interested. Until then, this is Goldcat signing out. Peace.